people see powerful professional women on television and they think they're always like that. But Jan Crawford is more comfortable in jeans and, and cowboy boots with a big belt buckle <laughs> and having a big glass of wine. <laughs> Jan can go toe to toe with anybody in any bar, in any sports talk radio studio, any newsroom, any press box on sports, on a lot of them. Jan's warm, um, very friendly, extrovert, easy to meet, you know, just an elegant lady, really. A native of Morgan County, Alabama, Crawford's career in journalism began at the University of Alabama, writing stories for the Crimson White. From that second, I was totally hooked on journalism. I could not believe that there was a career where you could go ask people questions, get access to all kinds of things that other people couldn't do, and you would get paid for that. Like, I just couldn't believe that I could do that. And I loved it. And from that moment on, I knew this is what I wanted to do. After graduating, she was hired as a reporter by the Chicago Tribune. During her time in Chicago, she attended the University of Chicago Law School, contemplating a career change as an attorney. But her passion for journalism was just too strong. She began covering legal affairs for the Tribune, which put her on the U.S. Supreme Court beat in 1994. She became well known and highly regarded for her coverage of the Supreme Court and all legal matters. What do you think that your grandfather would think if he knew that you were here today in Associate Justice? Oh, I think he would be more interested in how I did my job. She did it uh, for Chicago newspapers. She's done it for McNeil Lair with PBS. She's done it more recently uh, as the chief legal correspondent for CBS. H how do you top that? I mean, she's really the best in the business uh, at what she does. The legacy of Dr. King. I mean, how do you even, how do you even put that into words? Martin Luther King Jr. helped free and liberate not just a people, but a nation. She was one of the first people I sought out uh, when I took the job at CBS News. I remember being struck by, this is someone I need to really hone in on if I'm ever going to be successful at CBS News. Jan is my favorite kind of journalist in that she's brilliant without ever having to come off as that. Supreme Court justices don't do interviews. They don't need to do interviews. They don't want to do interviews. And in some ways, it may be disadvantageous for them to do interviews. And yet Jan Crawford keeps getting interviews <laughs> with Supreme Court justices. I've covered the Supreme Court for the News Hour with Jim Lehrer. And, you know, a lot of the justices watch it. And so they could see my work there. They were familiar with my work at the Chicago Tribune and saw that I was a, a serious uh, an objective reporter. And so as a result of that, you can kind of get meetings with them and talk to them and, and build their trust that way. I wanted to bring up this famous story between two long ago legal titans uh, who had had lunch, Judge Han and Justice Holmes. And as Justice Holmes uh, left the lunch, Judge Han said, do justice, sir, do justice. And uh, Justice Holmes stopped his carriage and said, it's not my job to do justice. My job is to apply the law. Justice Breyer, are you Holmes or Hand? <laughs> I'd be very happy to be either one. <laughs> you know, she's the most terrific mother who's been able to change around her career so that she does not miss her kids' football games or basketball games. And so I think that in many ways, she's admired by her peers and other mothers, but also younger women as well, because she has managed to make it all work. Alabama can't have anyone who should be more proud of than Jan. Can't. Yeah, I'll say it. She is the best of what um, a communication school wants to put out to the world. To me, what I learned at Alabama was that journalism was about getting answers and getting to the bottom of things and getting truth and being objective. And that's what I've always tried to do, whether it was at the Supreme Court, the Crimson White, uh, the Chicago Tribune, Alabama taught me that. And when I'm asking questions, whether I'm doing an interview with Justice Roberts or Dirks Bentley, I am thinking, 
you know, there's somebody in Morgan County that needs to know this and they don't get to ask these questions. So I'm trying to be in their shoes and explain these things for them. These are all things I take with me. I am very much a proud Alabama girl and a big, by the way, Alabama fan, Roll Tide. Walter Cronkite said, journalism is what we need to make democracy work. We need an informed electorate. We need the American people to understand what the Supreme Court does and why it matters and why the justices have ruled in the way that they did. There is no one better to explain that than Jan Crawford. Nobody does a better job. We are all smarter every time we listen to Jan Crawford.